hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele i am so excited to be with you all today and i hope everyone is doing wonderfully well in today's video i share with you this very quick dinner recipe that your entire family would really enjoy look they would devour it okay <laughs> my baked potatoes with salmon or salmon with baked potato recipe whichever way you want to call it is perfectly fine so i'm just cutting it to my preferred shape and sizes you may cut them bigger or smaller it is totally up to you once i'm done cutting i'm going to go ahead and parboil this yes this will help our potatoes bake faster and more delicious transfer it into my pot to that i'll add some salt and then i'll add enough water to cover the potatoes cover it up and bring it to a boil meanwhile i'll go ahead and prep my salmon and most of the time the skin is on it and this is how i get rid of it without making a huge mess in my kitchen you just want to slide your knife right underneath the scale okay just easy going i love enjoying the skin if you do not like the skin then you may have to skin it i'll then go ahead and spray some vinegar over it and also sprinkle some salt and i'll wash it thoroughly and set it aside for when we are ready to use it back to check on my potatoes it's been boiling for about three minutes we'll get rid of the water and i'll quickly rinse it off with cold water please remember to open your cold water shout out to the sweet team member that gave me that advice because otherwise it'll ruin your pipes when you pour hot stuff down your drain we'll then transfer our potatoes into a bowl to that i'm adding some of my sweet ajele all-purpose seasoning some crushed pepper flakes i'll also add in some paprika and some fresh parsley okay you may use the dried parsley if you prefer drizzle some olive oil over it give it a toss 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 parboiling our potatoes helps it bake faster okay if you put your potatoes in without parboiling it it may take a bit longer but doing it this way helps a lot we'll then transfer it into our baking pan cover it with foil paper and transfer it into a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven. While that is going on, I'm going to go ahead and season our salmon. To prep the salmon, I'm going to go ahead and dab it with some paper towel to get rid of any excess water. Ooh, me, i'll then go ahead and season it with some celery salt oh my goodness i love the flavor it adds it is totally optional you do not have to do that if you don't have it okay i'll also add some salt to taste some of my all-purpose seasoning Go ahead and drizzle some olive oil all over it you may use any oil of your choice i just wanted to use olive oil on this day and then i'll rub it into the fish beautifully you can wear gloves but hey i'm a home girl so mm -mm. I don't need it <laughs> once i'm done marinating though i'll cut it into my preferred sizes i'm using my kitchen shears because y'all know i love to use it for every thing cutting okay but you could use your knife once i'm done cutting i'll just allow it to hang out on the counter to marinate beautifully at this point i'm going to go ahead and check on my potatoes and they are looking good i use a toothpick to check the tenderness it is just perfect so i'll go ahead and top it with our salmon because it is time to add some of the salmon flavor to our potatoes so i'll just add the salmon over it place it back in the oven for about 15 minutes while i go ahead to 
prep my garlic, parsley, and butter mix. In a bowl, I'll add in some butter and place it in a warm area. In my case, I placed it over my oven because it is nice and toasty over there. I'll then go ahead to prep my garlic and parsley and I'm just going to dice the garlic very finely and also chop up my parsley. You may use basil which is um, kowe or akukomesa in case you cannot find parsley, okay? <laughs> Here is our butter nicely melted. I'm going to go ahead and add in some chili powder for the heat, our parsley, garlic, and a bit of my spice mix, okay? And I'll mix everything together until it is well combined. You can place this in your microwave to melt totally, but I want this to smother my salmon so I don't want it to melt completely. Once everything is well mixed, I'll squeeze in about two tablespoons of lemon juice this will take the flavor to a whole different level mix everything together until it is well combined and set it aside we'll be enjoying this with some cucumber salad so in a bowl i'll add my cucumber to that some sliced onions and parsley i'll spray some vinegar over it and drizzle a little bit of olive oil mix everything together and our cucumber salad is ready very easy to put together no creams needed for this recipe and i'll set it aside and check on our salmon it is almost there so i'll brush some of our garlic butter lemon herb mix over the top of the salmon place it back in the oven for just about five minutes okay just five minutes for everything to marry each other and our dinner will be ready trust me this comes together in under an hour <laughs> And there you have it. It is now time for us to serve and enjoy. Oh my goodness. Please promise me to try this recipe. It is so easy to put together, yet absolutely delicious. And your entire family, including your kids, will love this. So everybody is invited to enjoy this delicious dinner that we put together in under an hour with me. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and are inspired to try the recipe. Until I see you in the next one, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke onamini uchemi suite mahabutsu bye y'all so i serve daddy first and i am serving myself this portion isn't bad for me right yes <laughs> bye y'all